Hey again, my name is Sharfei Yunus, and today we are going to do a tutorial about data binding, specifically how you can get started with data binding. So first, what is data binding? Data binding is a library, it is a support library that, that allow you to bind UI components such as, let's say, text view, buttons, or image views, or anything in the UI to the data sources that you have in your app using a declarative format rather than doing that programmatically okay so you will find the same definition here i just spell it great so it is a library that allows you to bind ui component to the data source in your app using declarative format so what was the previous way we used to do find view by id to find that view that text view or that image view using its id okay and then we program that we do that text equal view model username directly in the programmative way. Okay, we do that in Kotlin or in Java like that. Java was more verbose, Kotlin at least it was somehow concise, but still the same thing. Now with the text view, with text view in the data binding thing, we can do it directly in the XML layout, in the XML with declarative format. Okay, so to get started using this form of declarative format with data binding, Go to get started here and here you'll find line that you need to copy into android studio okay great so let's copy this one the data binding need to have compatibility with android 4.0 or above okay so go back to android studio here is a new project in android studio let's go to build to gradle module data binding app my app and here let's add this line in the android tag here is the android tag add this line okay it will prompt a warning we need to add another plugin okay so we will do id okay it is kotlin add let's sync now great with that we have data binding is initialized in our project let's go to our layout now so we have an activity called main activity and here is its layout the layout is presenting a simple text view with the hello world we want to change this text using data binding okay so first thing we have to convert this layout into a data binding layout the first the first way and the the fast way is to go to constraint layout here and click add with enter okay it will prompt a menu convert to data binding layout okay click on it it will do several things it will add layout tag okay it will add this data tag and it will put all your layout inside it okay so this is how you get started with the with the data binding great now the data here has two main data uh, two main tags inside it the import or the variable okay so if you want to import class let's say any class you want class view class uh, class string anyone any class you can import it here and you can also declare variables so the first thing to declare i will declare a simple text okay let's declare a variable each variable has name each variable will have name and the type the name of the variable will be text okay and the type will be string I will pass just a simple string great now i can use this variable text inside my text view here i can replace hello world with the next format you will have to do an add sign and the curly brackets okay and just type text it will recognize text as a variable great we have added text now this text will come from the main activity or the yes the main activity why because this activity this layout is relied on the main activity so here we need to do several things first the android studio will generate a class called activity main binding you can find it like so private var or let's put late in it var because it will initialize it later it called binding equal activity main binding where this came let's put like that where this name came from 
Okay, it came from the activity main, each letter is capitalized, and we added the binding layout. If we create another layout, let's call it hello world layout. Okay, layout. And if we apply to it data binding, let's go here, add enter, convert to data binding. The generated file will be hello world layout binding. You can find it like so private slate init var okay binding two that's two equal hello world binding okay so it is the same we won't use this file i just want to show the name generation okay you can delete it now yes delete it anyway thank you great let's delete it also from here great how you can use this activity main Binding. First, we will need to change set count to view to data binding binding util. No, it's data binding util. Yes, exactly. To set count to view. This will require the activity and the layout. Great. Now we have to also add binding equal that. This will create this class. Okay. Now with the binding, you can do several things. First of all, you can do binding dot text, which is the variable we declared here. Okay, you can do text equal. Let's say I want to pass something. Let's say hello again and not hello world. Let's run the application. Great, hello again. Great, the app is working and we prompt it with hello again and not hello world. That's proof that our binding is working correctly. Great. Well, the other things you can do with that also is you can create IDs here. Simple ID of text. Let's say you want ID of text view, just like that. We can use this binding to access that text view directly. You can do binding, not text view. With its ID, and you can do whatever you want here. Let's say you want to add set on click listener or anything. Let's add click listener toast. Let's do a toast, simple toast. That is hello again and toast on click long, for example, and show it. And let's run the app. Click on it to show hello again. Okay, so this is data binding getting started. Great. Now we will do more tutorials about data binding. I want to keep the video short so you can get the maximum benefit from it. Okay, next on we will do binding adapters and how to use data binding with custom objects and also how to use data binding in recycler views. Okay, thank you very much and see you in the next video.